We opened our doors to the public in July of 1995. But the dream of making our own beer soon gave way to the reality of running a million dollar a year business with 40 employees. We made all the classic startup mistakes and struggled for the first five years just to keep the doors open. In 2000, we achieved positive cash flow with the help of a consolidation loan from a local bank. In 2002, we expanded into a failed business next door, which allowed us to double our brewing capacity and to top $2 million in revenues. But entrepreneurs are restless souls, and it wasn't long before we were looking for our next expansion opportunity. In 2004, we found an abandoned warehouse space that had been vacant for a decade. And once again, we recruited family and friends who by now knew the drill. We salvaged an old brewery from Arizona, and we planted trees for a beer garden, and we opened the doors to our second brewery in June of 2006, just in time for beer garden season in Michigan. And within a year, we began bottling and, distrib and distributing our beer statewide. I think it's a pretty nice story, but the question is, what does this have to do with you? So part of our story is the big impact that small breweries have on our local communities and our local economies. Our two breweries employ 65 people, 30 of whom are full-time staff, and the rest of whom are mostly college students working their way through graduate and undergraduate programs. Last year, we had over $3 million in combined revenues, and we paid $1.2 million in wages and benefits. We contributed $238,624 in local, state, and federal taxes. And we spent $1.8 million on goods and services, much of which helped to support other small businesses in our own community. <coughs> but our direct economic impact is only one piece of the pie. Small breweries help to create community by providing a community gathering spot with beer. Our businesses host hundreds of groups every year. And like most small brewery owners, we believe that businesses have a responsibility to be good corporate citizens to their communities. And so we serve on dozens of civic and nonprofit boards and commissions. And we lend financial support to dozens of other chambers and associations that assist local businesses in economic development. And we partner with local colleges, universities, and nonprofits to provide real life educational opportunities for students through internships, projects, and partnerships. And small breweries have a tendency to repay our debt to those who came before us by assisting those who are attempting to follow us. Every year, we meet with dozens of would be entrepreneurs to help them grow the economy by helping them manifest their dreams. Small breweries strengthen local communities by being engaged and committed corporate citizens. Our two breweries provide tens of thousands of dollars every year in support of hundreds of local nonprofits. The community has recognized and thanked us for our contributions with many awards over the years, including some of those listed here. But I'm here today to ask for your support. HR 4278 would reduce the small brewer's excise tax by $3.50 a barrel. Our projected savings would be around $13,000, but it might help for me to put that into context. In 2009, we had a combined profit margin of negative 0.6%, or about a $21,000 loss. Despite doing around $3.4 million in, in sales, like many small businesses across America, we're hanging on by our fingernails. So how would we spend these savings? We would invest just under half in energy efficiency improvements and just over half in new equipment purchases. Last year, we participated in an energy audit program sponsored by our local downtown development authority. It resulted in a wish list of energy improvements. And the best thing is that our DDA will match our investment dollar for dollar, allowing us to leverage $12,000 in improvements from your $6,000 investment. Our proposed improvements have a payback of around three years and will save us $2,500 a year for years to come. And those savings will be further invested in more improvements resulting in energy efficiencies and more savings for, uh, for years to come. Small breweries, small investments can have a huge impact in a small brewery. Last year we invested about $4,000 to make improvements to our kitchen and to expand our menu. This resulted in $42,000 in additional sales. 
and also necessitated bringing on an additional full-time and an additional part-time worker. This year, we would like to expand our production facility to include a micro distillery. We project that offering spirits on premise would result in another increase of about $40,000, moving our fledgling brewery safely into the black. And best of all, an investment in small breweries improves more than just our bottom line. Our reinvestment of these dollars into our <coughs> business has a powerful multiplier effect, resulting in investments in the green economy, the environment, the provision of health insurance, manufacturing, the creation of local jobs, and the direct support of the industry. So your small investment would make a huge difference, and we truly appreciate your consideration. 